Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to look at the person you're in no contact or separation with. What is their feelings? What are their intentions? What are their next actions or moves towards you? Keep in mind, it is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. I will put the timestamps down below for you. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Aries first. Aries, what is your person's feelings at this time? Okay, we've got Money Pit. Curious. I couldn't handle you. So this person could have felt like you were using them for money, that Aries, all you wanted was for them, for you to take care of them. They feel like you drain them financially. That could be why you're in no contact. Let's see what their intentions and their next actions are towards Aries. Okay, so right now this person is trying to plan for their long term. They don't really know what the next steps are when it comes to you and them. Right now they're trying to make wise choices and decisions, which is they're taking time to step back. Their intentions is to maintain victory and success within their job or career. Maybe they, their bank account was completely drained. Their savings account was drained on you. They spent a lot of money on you, maybe trying to impress you. And they're now waking up to that, that they need to reflect that they're broke and they don't have any more money left. And so they're trying to take action to try to make a necessary plan of how they can recover from the money that they've spent towards you. It does look like this person is feeling more confident about not taking action towards you. They're focused on their future. They're focused on recovering from what happened between the two of you. So it looks like there is not going to be any action towards you. They're going to take action towards what they need to do. Okay, let's move on to Taurus. All right, Taurus. The person you're in no contact with, what are their feelings? What is Taurus's person's feelings at this time? I'm going to reach out. More to learn, can't eat, can't sleep, can't work. So your person is thinking about you quite a bit while the two of you are in separation. They're feeling like they're learning more about this separation. They are having a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety over the circumstances, and they are wanting to reach out. Let's see what their intentions and their next actions are going to be. Okay, so it does look like this person is trying to be more logical about what happened between the two of you. They might have been a little bit more stubborn in the past and they're now realizing their stubbornness didn't really get them anyway, anywhere with you. So now they're preparing themselves to try to come back towards you to stand up and let you know what they're thinking, that they've learned that maybe they were being stubborn, that they weren't evolving. And they were really just kind of in their ego and their pride of recognizing that they wanted things their way. They were more disciplined. They're learning that not everything can be their way. So it looks like they are going to take action. Their intentions is to try to come in and explain to you why they did what they did. Not to justify it, but they've learned that that's not going to work. It causes them more stress or anxiety. So it does look like you are going to hear from this person. Gemini. All right, Gemini, if you're in no contact or separation, how does your person feel about you? They're not showing their hand. They're trying to release the situation and guarded heart. I'm hearing the jokes on you, Gemini. So let's find out what their intentions or actions are because right now they feel like they need to just let this go. They're guarding their heart. They're not really trying to show anything to you when it comes to the situation. Okay. 
Yeah, right now your person is feeling like they need to defend themselves. They are prepared to really just not show you that they're letting this go. They feel like it's a, the best choice ever. Maybe there was a lot of fighting. They maybe risk too much being with you, but it does feel like this person is trying to just focus on what they wanna accomplish, and it could be just their money, their job, their career, schooling. It does feel like they're not taking action towards you. They are letting the situation go between the two of you. Their intentions is to just stay guarded and they are prepared if you try to come towards them, they are on the defense and not showing you what they're doing or what they're up to. It looks like they are maybe going to block you or they are just not going to respond if you reach out. Cancer. Okay, Cancer, the person you're in no contact or separation, what are their feelings at this time? Cancer's person's feelings at this time. Loyal and devoted to us. Okay, so this person's still loyal and devoted to you, even though you're in no contact or separation. They are thinking about having a fresh start that may surprise you, Cancer, but it is something they are contemplating. And I know I need rehab. So this person knows they have some issues. Maybe they have substance issues that they need to get rehab for. They need help. They need to try to recover from this. They're still loyal and devoted, even though the two of you are not speaking and you're in separation. They are wanting a fresh start. So let's see what their intentions and actions are for cancer. Okay, so it does look like their intentions is to try to manifest this connection back because they're still loyal and devoted to you. They do want this. They do believe that the two of you can overcome this. They feel like if the two of you um, were to come back together, that would be a great celebration the two of you could have is this reconciliation. They're being logical knowing that whatever they're dealing with is very challenging to them right now, but they are taking the necessary steps to gain the information to figure out how they can grow and evolve. So they, if they have substance issues or they have belief issues that need change, they're cutting that away. They're trying to figure out how to let that go and detach. Those are the actions they're taking because they're being more logical and understanding they need to be more respectful, respectful towards you and the situation. And that may require this person from recovering from whatever the problem was in the past. Leo. Seven twenty four. Okay, Leo. Person you're in no contact or separation. Releasing is how they feel. They feel like they need to release this. Wanting another chance, please. Okay, so Leo, they could feel like you have released this situation and they might want another chance with you. Okay, they want you to trust them. And they're trying to be patient. Maybe they're waiting for you. I don't feel good enough for you. So Leo, whoever this person is, they feel like they don't have enough to give to you, that they are not in a position to give to you. They're trusting or hoping you're trusting that they're working through this while you're in separation because they do want another chance with you, Leo. They just hope that you're not fully releasing the situation yet. Let's see what their intentions and actions are. Okay, so it does look like their intentions is to try to figure out how to take responsibility for what they have not been accountable up to this point. Maybe it's their finances, their emotional, whatever they don't feel good enough. They're trying to take accountability for that. They have a lot of unhealthy issues in their life that have blocked them from evolving before maybe they met you, Leo. And right now, they are challenging themselves to stand up for what they want. And that is part of them having to release something to be better for you. It could be letting go of their low self-esteem, letting go of insecurities, letting go of a belief system that made them think they weren't good enough. And their actions is they know that right now they can't come towards you. They, their actions is to become more self-sufficient, to become good enough, to become more independent in their own energy before they could do anything. So it doesn't look like they're taking action towards you, but they're taking action in their life because of you, Leo. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, no contact in separation. How does your person feel, Virgo? I lurk on your social media. So they are lingering, 
checking you out, seeing what you're up to, Virgo. They're lacking focus. Okay, so the only thing they can actually focus on is your social media. They could be addicted to watching that, Virgo. It is what it is. So this person is lacking accountability for whatever happened that caused the separation and divide. They're lacking the focus and drive to overcome or even take accountability for their part. But they are curious about you, Virgo. They are lurking on that social media, wondering what you are up to. Let's see what their intentions and their actions are. Okay, so they do want to come back and celebrate into union. They want this connection back, but they feel like they're not going to fight for it. They feel like if you are ambitious to want them enough, you'll come towards them. It does look like this person is very apprehensive of coming towards you because they know that maybe you broke up with them. And that's why they have the attitude of it is what it is. Virgo broke up with me, so I'm just going to lurk on their social media because I feel entitled to do so. So it doesn't look like this person is taking any action towards you. They want to, but they're not going to because they haven't taken accountability. They are waiting to see if you're going to take action towards them, Virgo. Libra. Okay, Libra, how does your person feel about you? No contact in separation. You were right about me all along. So Libra, whatever you said about this person or whatever you felt, you were right all along. This person knows that you were right about them. Libra's person, no contact. I will focus on my healing. So maybe you told this person they need to get into their healing energy. They need to love themselves more than what they have. I hope you will take me back. Okay, so Libra, your person's working on themselves. You were right about them that they did need to work, that they needed to fix themselves. They needed to focus and do better. They needed to make some necessary changes. They're hoping that if they make these changes and they heal, that you're actually going to take them back. So let's see what their intentions and actions are. Okay, so their intentions is... They know that they have to take accountability. That's the first step in healing, is having the motivation to take accountability for the conflict between the two of you and for whatever they did in the past. And this person is walking through that door. They are realizing that they want to experience so much more. In order to do that, they have to make these necessary life changes that they were not wanting to do in the past. Things that you told them to do. For example, if you told them they needed to distance themselves from people that had no goals or no ambitions and people that really were not motivated in life because they would hold them back. Maybe it was family or friends. This person is realizing now that they're seeking so much more in their life. And you were right all along that as long as they hung out with those people, that was all they were going to have. Now this person is in an energy of wanting success. They're creating new opportunities for themselves. They're putting in the work and they're hoping that because they're healing, that you're going to give them a second chance, that you're going to make amends with them. They're hoping that if they come towards you and they tell you about the work they've done, that they've closed the door on those things that were blockages in the past, people place things, beliefs, that you will embrace and accept them to return. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, no contact in separation. Let's see what your person's feelings for you are, Scorpio. I'm happy with myself. So your person is enjoying their companionship with themselves. I'm waiting for you to call me, Scorpio. They're waiting on you. So if you're waiting on them, they're waiting on you. You guys are both playing it. So looks like this person is trying to maybe put on the front that they're happier alone, but they're not. They're going through the dark times. They're going through this um, volcanic energy here that they have emotions within them for you, Scorpio. And they're acting like they don't, but they do. And so let's find out what's going to be their intentions and what are going to be their actions when it comes to the situation between the two of you. 
Yeah, things are definitely not turning out the way this person had expected, Scorpio. They've been focusing too much on the negative, the things that are not working versus the things that are, and it's intensifying in their life. So they're trying to get to a place of understanding that they need to be more safe and cautious with the way they think, the way they feel. This is somebody who is going through a lot right now, a lot of challenging times. They're going through a dark part of their life and they're trying to just get to a better place. So it looks like they're not reaching out to you because they're trying to be more self-sufficient in their heart and soul with they know they need to find relief with what they're going through right now. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. The person you're in no contact or separation. Let's see what their feelings are. Sagittarius. Big development. I am special, so they are working on themselves. Do you still love me? So your person is questioning if you still have feelings and emotions for them, if you still are in love with them, or if you still love them. Let's find out, Sagittarius, what their intentions and next actions are towards you. Okay, so it does look like they are intending to communicate with you. So if they've been holding back, they know that they need to risk it all and try to come towards you. This is somebody who is making changes, and you might not expect these changes from this person, Sagittarius, but they are. This is somebody who's having a major wake-up call and realizing that if they don't take action, they're never going to get this connection back. They're never going to know if you still love them or if they still love you. This is somebody who is trusting their instincts to come towards you in the hopes that the two of you can get back on track. So they're hoping for big developments between the two of you. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. The person you're in no contact or separation, what are their feelings? Capricorn person you're in no contact or separation what are their feelings hurt and sad this person is upset Capricorn's person guidance okay so they are being divinely guided right now I struggle with trusting my feelings okay so this person if they broke up with you Capricorn they might be hurt and sad over the choice that they made they maybe got bad guidance from other people or they're listening to the universe about guidance of what they need to do because they are struggling with trusting what these feelings are that they're having while the two of you are in separation. Let's see what this person's feelings are, I'm sorry, what their intentions and their next actions are going to be. Okay, so this person does feel that with their intentions, they need to be logical. They're being very careful with what it is that they want to do. They are listening to the guidance of themselves. This is somebody who is trying to remain positive, but they are getting advice, whether it's from the universe or people around them, about what they should do about this hurt and pain that they are feeling. But it does look like they're making the choice to come towards you, Capricorn. This person loves you, and they want to put an end to this no contact or separation. They want to be able to come into union, and they're not giving up on the connection between the two of you. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, how does your person feel about you? The person you're in no contact or separation, how does Aquarius' person feel about them? They're grateful, okay. I believe in myself. So this is somebody who maybe didn't believe in themselves. They didn't have high confidence or self-esteem. They are now believing in themselves. And there's something about this friendship. So. This could have been a situation that this person is realizing maybe they were struggling with the idea of commitment and they're thinking about this connection. They're thinking about the two of you at least being friends. They're grateful for having you in their life and they're realizing that you are somebody who's been very supportive, somebody who has been very genuine and someone who's really been there for them as a friendship basis. So let's see what their intentions and actions are. 
Okay, so this person is realizing they've had a lot of ups and downs in their life and you are a positive change in their life. Now, for the reason for the separation or divide could be this person really got kind of down in the gutter. They really felt like they were going through a difficult time and you were always supportive of them, but they maybe pushed you away also, Aquarius. And this person is realizing from the divine that they need to believe in themselves, they need to believe in you, and they're finally listening to their intuition. They're getting signs and synchronicities about you and the situation between the two of you. So it does look like this person is gonna come towards you with communication. Their instincts and their intuition is telling them that's what they need to do. They need to take action at minimum to at least be friends with you because they do have feelings for you. Pisces. Okay, Pisces, the person you're in no contact or separation, what are their feelings towards you, Pisces? Pisces person's feelings. I'm so attracted to you, so they are physically attracted to your looks. They're very drawn to you on your appearance. Don't give up. So this person, even though they're in silence and no contact with you, they're holding a mask up because they are not giving up. They're still drawn to you. And they're hoping that in time, the two of you are gonna be able to grow closer, that the two of you will get closer in time. So let's see what their intentions and their actions are going to be towards Pisces. Okay, this person's getting crystal clear with their intentions. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. You know, Pisces, this person is very attracted to you. They're not actually giving up. They maybe have stepped away because they've needed to focus on their work or their career. Maybe they need to collect more money, but this person is getting very clear with wanting to spend more time with you. This is not a goodbye forever. If you're wondering, are you gonna ever hear from this person again, Pisces, you are. This person is going to come towards you with everything to let you know that they wanna nurture this connection. They wanna be able to grow closer and they're hopeful and optimistic it's gonna work out. Their attention maybe has just been drawn on towards their job, maybe school. There, there's some other focus that they've had. And so if you haven't heard from them in the last day or two or the last couple days, they haven't given up on the connection. So if you feel like they ghosted you and they're done, they're not. They're actually going to return. They've just been super busy. But this person is very attracted to wanting to nurture this connection. So it does look like this person is going to overcome these obstacles or challenges, they might even apologize that they didn't put in the necessary work. They could have sent you a quick message that said, hey, I'm busy, I'll catch up on the weekend or I'll catch up next week or whatever. They didn't do that, but it looks like they're gonna be very clear about doing that in the future. They're gonna cut out the things they did in the past with the, the keeping that distance and they're gonna close that in. They're gonna nurture the connection more. They're gonna be more practical and more aware of what your needs are when it comes to this connection, Pisces.